Now you've heard the saying, ladies, that the hand is quicker than the eye, yeah? Yeah. yeah. This is a quick little demonstration of that principle. Watch this closely. I'll take the coin and place it down here inside of my pocket. And just a little shake and it'll instantly jump back into my hand. <laughs> Did you see that? Quicker than the human I can detect. That's amazing. Let me show you this again. No question about where it goes, okay? One coin here, two there. This one goes down into my pocket. A little shake and it'll instantly jump back into my hand. Now if you was watching closely, you'll see that I have to be using some extra coins. Yeah? Which indeed I am. See, I'm using this one. And I'm using this one. And this one. And this one. And this one. Yeah, and I've got another one here. <laughs> I keep, I keep one up here on my shoulder as well. Yeah, and we've got this one, and 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 this one. And there is one more that I keep up here inside of my nose. Can you see that? Spooky. But sometimes I can get really lucky. Reach up and grab a whole bunch of coins just like this. This should last me a couple of weeks. Let me get rid of these. Thank you very much. Oh, wow. Thank you. There we go. Group hug. Group hug. Oh. There we go. for a bit of danger ladies yes. yeah, yeah danger you know <laughs> actually by showing you this what I'm about to show you I'm actually risking my life I really am you know I'm gonna to reveal to you some of the some of the, the the best kept gambling secrets that people use to manipulate people out of money let me show you what I mean okay just get rid of the box we don't need the box there's lots of different let me just show you we've got a deck of cards yeah they're all here they're all different there's lots of different methods that gamblers will use the first one I'm going to show you is called the watch peak. And this is what happens, okay? The gambler will be holding the deck, and he'll pretend to look at the time. But really what he's doing is riffling down with his thumb, and he's trying to spot an ace. I just saw one, yeah? I just spotted an ace. I really did. And then any time that you need it, he cuts it down to the deck. Watch this closely. The ace of diamonds. And then he deals it off the bottom of the deck, which is kind of sneaky, yeah? Hold your hands out for me, just like this. Let me see if I can show you that again, look. I'm just going to do this. I pretend to look at my watch, but really I'm looking down here and I see the net. Did you see? You saw that ace, didn't you? Not really. Where, where was it? Have a guess. Got bad eyes. Yeah. <laughs> I saw it. It was like about 33, 34 cards down. Let me just have a guess. There we go. 33 cards down. The ace of clubs. Now this time I'll try and find the two remaining aces just using one cut. But I've got to do two riffles. Is that okay, Aga? If I do yeah. two riffles, you sure? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Watch. <laughs> That's one. That's two. I spotted the two aces. I really did, but I've just got to give the deck one cut and I bring the ace of heart to the bottom and the last one, the, the most magical one, the ace of spades, I cut up to the top. Isn't that weird? So we've got the ace of spades, the ace of clubs, diamonds and hearts. Now there is another method that gamblers use. What they will do is they will take some cards out of the deck, the aces, and they will change the colour on them slightly. So you don't know what to look for unless you really know what's, what, what's, take, what's, what's happened, yeah? But if you, if, if you watch closely, you may be able to see the different colours on the backs of the aces. 
Can you see that? <laughs> it's a slightly different shade. Uh, can you see that? Yeah. Yeah, it stands out a little bit. Yeah. It's, it's horrible. It's gambling. <laughs> now watch this closely. I'm going to take the aces and place them down into different parts of the deck, one at a time. Now it's important that you see that they're all going into different parts of the deck. Can you see that? Yeah. Different sections into the deck. Now if you know what you're looking for, I mean that really stands out, yeah? Yeah. You can spot that on my loss. Now I'm going to do this one last time, but this time I'm going to try and find all four aces with just one watch peak. This took me eight years. Eight years of my life to get this one move. So Watch this closely. That's one, two, three, and four. Found them. Found the four aces. And then all I need to do is give the deck a squeeze and the four aces will pop out. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Hold your hands out again for me. But you see, this time I didn't use different shaded aces. You see, this time, Emma, I used a different shaded deck. <laughs> Check it weird. out. Take a look. There we go. You can keep those as a little souvenir. Thanks that for watching. Wow. I love that. I know. Yeah, me too. There we go. <laughs>